Everybody, it's Aaron here. I'm going to do an unboxing video of this guy, the H&K 416. Basically, it looks like a carbine M16. The thing is vicious. Look at that. Ripped right into me. So, let's do it. This is actually going to be for an auto sentry turret, an auto turret that I'm going to make. So, uh, check out the channel. See that? It's going to be awesome. So let's break into it. In order to get into this guy, you're going to have to take your scissors and possibly your grandparents out back and absolutely destroy this thing. I've cut all the way along here. I've cut the top off. Okay. And I've cut down both sides. You got to watch on this side. That's where I got my uh, thumb completely destroyed. So let's do this. Uh, first off, you can see it is a clear gun, so yes, I will be painting the thing, because how unintimidating is that? We're going to go directly for the base here, which I'm missing a small cut on this side. Goodness. Look at that. Curls right out. Okay, so what do we have? BBs, and this thing holds, claiming 250 round magazine, so it'll go through this in what? One mag? Not even. It's claiming 340 FPS at 0.12, okay? See it, 0.12s. This is a sling, actually these are metal clamps, metal clips, so that's awesome. I look forward to that. We have key, the instructions, okay, on the gun and more ordering stuff, registry product, blah blah blah. Here we have the battery. So what kind of battery do we have? We have 650 milliamp hours at 8.4 volts, okay? And these are nickel magnesium hydroxide? That doesn't sound right, but they're that. So batteries, connector, and uh, Moving right along here, we have what looks like a barrel cleaner. Okay, I'm just going to leave that in there. Put your little uh, bit of Kleenex in that hole and slide it right down the barrel. And that is the charging deal. So here's the magazine. Um, quick tips, blah, blah, blah. So I'm supposed to read stuff. How lame is that? Does it have a wind up? Yes, it does. It's a wind up deal. It's actually aluminum. So that's pretty good. The top is plastic and it looks like the bottom case is aluminum. So, um, I don't know. That's probably just the wind up mechanism, but it doesn't sound too solid in there. The reason why I went with this uh, particular model is because it was the cheapest I could find with metal gears and a half decent review. But it doesn't look like the gears are metal at all. <laughs> what? So. I'm assuming that you can get Metal Gears for this as well if you want to do some more replacing and such. Um, I've only read good reviews about this thing, so I'm pretty excited that it's going to be working out. Let's get the rest of this thing off. Okay, here is the gun out of the package. Almost killed somebody getting it out. So you have the sights, which are interesting, which is like a ghost sight. Little circle. Let's look down the sight, actually. That is your stock sight, okay? I believe that's a ghost sight, is what they're called. So, kind of cool. Your extendable stock. Uh, your rails, love the rails. Gonna come in handy. The one thing that I don't like about it already is the weight. I like a nice, solid feel to it. I'm assuming with the clip, the clip weighs a little bit, but not nearly enough. The clip and the battery, I'm assuming you're gonna get a little bit more weight to it. It feels plasticky. I mean, it is made out of plastic, the whole dang thing. I'll give you guys a full review on this thing after I've actually used it for a bit. I don't want to jump in and start lying to you. If you're really looking at this gun, I got this one for 99 bucks. Okay. Brand new. I live in Canada, so things are a bit more expensive. If you can pull this gun off for less than 99, you're looking at a deal. So if you're really into it, grab it because that's a deal. I'm going to give you more reviews as we go along. If you want to see a way better Airsoft reviews of guns and uh, Airsoft channel that's legit, check out the links. Um, Hash is his name. He's got a whole Airsoft setup. 
really awesome. I think he's got like a way better version of this as well. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But anyways, we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Ciao.